Hello everyone, it is me, Straw Hat Ninja 89. Yo, uh, this is another. Well, it was supposed to be an unboxing, but it, one of it failed, and I did take it. But unfortunately, my parents were coming down. I was like, shit. So I had to like stop recording and everything. I was like, oh fuck. So I had to stop recording. Not because I was talking or anything, because they needed me for, like, something. I'm like, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. So I have to stop it, and I unbox it, too, and everything. Well, okay, there will be one unboxing, but the other will just be a regular update. So, yeah, um, so what this update is, is one, it's a video game, and the other thing has to do with manga. Well, okay, one is a manga, and the other is a magazine referring to certain mangas. And for the magazine part, you probably know what that is, since I'm collecting it before... It comes to an end with the April uh, issue. So, yeah. Let's dive right in. And this is... First of all, I'm going to show you the big guns. The main thing I was really, really excited to get. Now, I got it from Target. Pretty good pricing for about a good $45 clean. Because we're having a really awesome sale. I know it doesn't seem like a difference. Like $5, $6 less. But, you know, hey. you know, I got my membership card from Target. So, that helped me out. Um, not to mention with the sale and everything, you get like, since I still had some like, uh, some credit usage, no, not credit, what was it again? Um, I don't know, something because since my target, my percent thing took it pretty much clean off, I, I got like five, it was like five dollars off or something like that. When you, when you're like a target member, when you have the, um, the actual target card, you get it for like five dollars off for where my target was pretty much. So forty five dollars, not too bad. And the other thing, I got it from Barnes and Noble. Well, let's just get to the main thing, which is the game. It starts a certain blue hedgehog. It's his twentieth birthday. I was pissed I did not get it during the first day because unfortunately my store reeled me back up because the power was back on and everything. Um, so I couldn't get it the first day. So this is the third day it's been out. I finally got it. So yeah. Here we go, and it is Sonic Generations. He's the fastest thing alive. Sorry, I love that song from Sonic Saddam. Anyways, um, yeah, so it's Sonic Generations for the PS Triple, which I got pretty good pricing. I know the PC version is like twenty five dollars, but unfortunately, yeah, my computer is not really the greatest, so. <laughs> Yeah, trying to run down on that speed will just fucking explode it, so no thank you. So here's the cover of it. Here's the back, of course, which looks uh, pretty good. And I'll show you the inside of it. Okay. Got the menu right here. Disc All Awesomeness, which is the awesome of Blu-ray, which I got right here. Pure awesome. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put that back. Of course it's in good condition because I got it brand new. Oh yes. I'm not gonna show the manual because it's like really, really small and tiny. Not to mention, that's pretty much all I have to really show you for that. So yeah, just a little update that I actually got the game. I'll be playing it mostly, hopefully tonight. Uh, hopefully. If not, I'll play it over the weekend. I got the game, but if not, if I can't play it today because I have other shit to do, probably during the weekend I'll play it. Cause you know, I have work tomorrow. Um, yeah, pretty much I got, like, work tomorrow and stuff, and I got other stuff to do, and brother getting paid, getting paid, getting prayed on Friday, I mean paid, why did I say pray for? <laughs> paid on Friday, so definitely it's a big plus, so, other things coming out, I gotta save it for other games. This game, I'm going to enjoy a lot more than that bullshit Ultimate Tank Kaichi, I mean, just to wipe the bad taste of my mouth how bad that game really is. Hell, even the Bleach game would have been better, but... There's other stuff coming out, you know, November 15th, Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, a better fighter than what the hell I ever played. Not to mention Rayman Origins, all the other stuff, but the other stuff, I'm sorry, will have to be for the holidays, for Christmas, because there's Christmas crap, I gotta, I don't want to say crap, but it's like gifts, I gotta get for like the family, friends, my fiance, a lot of stuff I gotta do. So yeah, maybe, maybe not, I'll get more stuff, we'll see. If not, they'll just be simple anime updates, like the movie for Bleach. Won't be that much for Fate to Black. So I can always get the Blu-ray to that. Oh, fuck. Fairy Tale comes out. Oh, damn. You hockey show. This is where this month is going to kick me in the balls. Because there's a lot of stuff coming out. But the rest, like I said, I'll save for Christmas. Anywho. Now let's get to the other thing. If I can find it. Oh, no. no, 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 no. I was supposed to show that as a secret. But screw it. It's already showing now. 
And the next thing will be an unwrapping, which will be an unboxing. Oh, you motherfucker. You had to spoil it. You had to damn you, camera. You had to spoil it again. You pretty much already know what it is, like I mentioned. It is, you know, magazine based on a certain genre of anime. Like, and pretty soon the issues will go bye-bye because it'll go digital next year. Here it is. The one and only Shonen Jump, the December 2011 issue. Wrapped in plastic, which is finally they're getting to the whole wrapping them in plastic because I really do like when the Shonen Jumps are wrapped in plastic. I really hate when they're out, when they're like fucking sticking out and they basically just like sometimes they tear the pages up. Now there's no longer a problem. So thank God somebody got to that because I really do love the fact that they actually have it in the plastic and I love the plastic covering to that as well. Yu Gi Oh shit in the back, nobody really cares for it. So without further ado, Let's unbox this bitch. So, let me just unwrap it. Um, I'm not going to be reading this entirely yet. I mean, I'm just going to show you. and I'm just going to look around and see what it goes up to for chapter-wise, this and this and that. Then, I will read it a little more later tonight. So, I already watched Bonds, and hopefully I can get the review done for this and for that. And the review of, like, other stuff. And once I'm done with Sound Generations, that review will be out as well. So, yeah. Alright. And time to actually start doing this. Alright, so here we go. Uh, here it is. Okay. Now we're just going to look at all the stuff here. Yu-Gi-Oh! Gates of the Underworld. And don't worry, people. I can upload more than uh, 15 minutes. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you. Now I can upload videos more than 15 minutes. So, yay! This can go on as long as I can. Not really. But even though I do want to, like, not make it as long, long, but still... This is some more fan art, which I, I really do love the fan art. This, the fan art of this is just fucking beast. I love the fan art of this. It's actually, it's actually really good. Um, uh, you get the blue. Um, yeah, so I'm, it's pretty much Bakuman fan art. I mean, I kind of like Bakuman. I'm starting to sort of get into it. Not really. I don't know. I'm just not really an all fan of Bakuman. Now, I keep hearing that Blue Exorcist is really good. I know it's really, really good. I really gotta start getting the manga to that. Is this page stuck? Or is that how it goes? Oh, yeah, table of contents here. Usual stuff that you get. One Piece, Bleach, Siren, Naruto. Card games on motorcycles. Sorry. And, yeah, that's it. So, you get the One Piece color page, color art contest. Which is, like, all here. So, that's yeah, pretty cool. You know, I'm really going to start missing these, because these contests, this is like Nintendo, it's like Nintendo Power, if, like, Nintendo Power were to, like, go away. What the fuck? Are these pages, like, stuck? I feel like I can't even get these damn pages out. Uh, it feels like it's stuck. Hold on. I'm going to check if these pages are stuck. It kind of feels like it's stuck together. Or, no. Or is it just me? Five. Uh, give me one sec. I just want to make sure. Five, six, seven. Oh, okay. It's not stuck together. Okay. Feels like it was. Oh, shit. They actually got the cool ass, badass new world cover. Oh, shit. That is awesome. That is pretty cool that they finally caught up to that. Very nice. So I can't wait. The new world celebration download wallpaper at chillinjump.biz. Oh, I'm definitely. Oh, ooh, I'm getting that. I, I want that for my fucking wallpaper now. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just keep the one I have. I don't know. It's a free Yu-Gi-Oh card, but I don't care. I'm ripping that up. I don't even want to rip the damn... Hold on. I don't want to rip the damn pages, so... Fuck. I'm doing a terrible fucking job with this. Oh, you bastard. I hate this. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, you motherfucker! I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, one sec. I gotta put the fucking camera down. God damn it. I hate when this fucking happens. Oh, no, the fucking badass, damn it, I ripped a little bit of it. This fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards pissed me off, because they stick to the, stuck it to the goddamn page. Fucking you, now I'm fucking pissed off now. Now I just ruined the fucking epic moment here, and that sucked, because now I got a little bit ripped. The one thing I do not like about the fucking Sean Jones is these damn Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, you really gotta be strict with this. So fuck that, you can obviously just see it was an obvious rip there. I didn't mean to rip it, but that was my fault. But at least the other pages are good. God damn it, I'm fucking pissed. 
And I love the fucking badassness. Now you're gonna see a nose a rip, which I'm really pissed when I look at this in the future. When I show my next generation all this. It's bullshit. It's fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards piss me off. Anyways, um you pretty much get like more fan art for like Naruto and stuff like that. Yay. Oh cool cosplay. I think this was from I don't know if this was from like a convention or just doing this for Shonen Jump. Probably it's just for the Shonen Jump, I'm assuming. Pretty cool, not too bad. Oh, he looks like that one was trying to do Choji. It looks a little weird. Uh, I think that one is. Is that a Koski? I can't even tell. Looks like a Nata? I don't know. So uh, I guess with the camera angle, I can't really tell. Oh, Professor Layton. I heard the series is pretty good of a game, but I've never really got into it. I heard it was really awesome, but again, never really got into it. Hopefully, I could one day. Cool, Dr. Slump Cosplay. I think, oh, this is from freaking New York Comic Con. Okay, this I think this is from New York Comic Con 2K11. So, okay. Pretty cool. Got the cool Soul Reaper. You got the Kenpachi. Got the Soul Reapers right there. At the bottom. I don't know what the hell that is. I can't see what the fuck that even is. Oh, is that Chopper? Is that Chopper, man? Oh, look, it's a cute little chopper, man. No, oh, it's a cute cosplay. I like that one. Um, yeah. See, I love this awesome, timeless limit. I can make, like, as long as I want. Uh, I'm just going through it, like, slowly instead of fast, like in my 15-minute ones. All right, so we get the Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff here. It's kind of cool. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's just more fan... Oh, well, there's a couple, like... I don't know what the hell this is. It's like... Oh, they're fan art things that they're, like, drawing for, like, a contest and stuff. Cause that's, I know I'm repeating myself, but that's what it kind of looks like. Oh, God. I'm, I'm just still a little pissed off. I just ruined the epic page, which I'm really pissed off with. Cause I love that back. Now I'm really pissed unless I get taped for it, which is going to look stupid. Oh, oh my God. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the Yugo cars once these issues are gone. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. It's an Uzup. Who's that plushie? I can't find these plushies anywhere. I know there's like American ones, but no, they didn't make them as much. There's more cosplay. I mean, more chibis. Some of these are really rare. I don't even know they even had the Usopp one. Chopper, I've seen it. It was in my anime shop, but I didn't see Usopp. I wanted a fucking Usopp plushie. Oh, no, Luffy. I want the L Luffy plushie, but I couldn't find it anywhere. It's like all these chibis, all these plushies. I mean, plushies, not chibis. What the hell am I talking about? I guess this is really their farewell thing that they're really doing here. I guess they really want this to go out with a bang. This is some beautiful ass stuff here. I'm really starting to be like, damn. I, I don't want to imagine what the final issue is going to bring a tear to my eye. Damn. Alright, so it's just pretty much more stuff. It's pretty much just like more... Like, what the hell? Where the fuck is all the manga shit? Like, are we finally going to... Go? Oh, th thank you. Now I see it. Um, There's just booster pack things. Shonen Jump raps in Haiku. Oh, they're like rhymes and rhythms. Or like little rap things. Okay, like they're mixing like raps with like Shonen Jump stuff. Like, they're adding Shonen Jump elements like their little raps they're making. Okay, I get it. Um, okay, that's kind of cool, I guess. But I don't care if it... Well, I'll look at some of them. Why not? We, we have timeless limits. If the camera will focus. If not, we're just going to move on. I think that's what we're going to have to do, because this camera will not focus. I'll look at it a little later, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Oh, God, thank you. Finally, we get the chapter stuff, finally. God, it took it, like, so long just to do it, but who cares? Uh, slow, 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 slow. We know he's going to get executed, but then they move into the... Then Soifon... I mean, not Soifon. God, Yorichi moves him to the real world and everything, to that hideout. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. We already... Jesus, they're so fucking slow. You know, maybe it is kind of good for the digital thing to go beyond the Japanese one. Because unless they find a way to make the Bleach manga catch up, which I have a slight feeling they're going to do like they did with One Piece and Naruto, they might make the Bleach manga catch up with the uh, with the mangas releasing every month and stuff. I have a feeling they're going to do that for Bleach. Maybe. I don't know. Depending how big of the fan base is here in America. <sighs> We know this. He sets the fire up. Where does this go up to exactly? Oh, yeah. The first encounter. Yeah. And then pretty much we see Ichigo and his badassness trying to save Rukia from 
I mean, uh, Orihime. Why am I failing at this? God, my brain is killing me. <sighs> Orihime from Yukiota. Damn. Alright. Okay, so it's pretty much... Okay, so... Oh, this is for Fate of Black. Okay. This is for the Fate of Black movie. They're just giving you, like, more info. Is this the end? Find out by watching an um, DVD, Blu-ray, or digital download. It's just pretty much just telling you what it's about. But by then, it's gonna say that's already gonna be, like, out and stuff like that. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Very nice color page. I mean, this is, I guess, when Kubo was still kind of the shit with his art. Because color page looks really good. I really like it. It's not bad, really. It's, it's awesome. Alright, so then, this is the part where pretty much Ichigo is gonna... I'm just gonna fast forward this. So this is where Ichigo finally, you know, tries to go out to Yukiota. Where all of a sudden, where the... What the hell are these people called again? The... Those... I forget what they're called. Those freaking skull... Uh, a spot of things. The... I think they're called the Vassions, the or are those the people that were, like, the, the ones that used to be a spotless? I don't remember. It's been a while, because it's been a while since I either read... Well, I, I watched the anime of these parts recently in the dub. I mean, I have seen the anime back in Japan, but... Oh, whatever. I don't care. I already know who these people are. So, da 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 I know this. Jesus, they're... To be continued? God, I can't believe how slow this crap is. Okay, now we go to the Island of New Beginning. So, yeah, this is pretty much... I don't know where this part's going to stop at. Oh, this is when Chopper pretty much finds out that they all change and stuff. He's, like, all crying. Then, Usa finally finds the real ones. Nami's hugging him. Oh, it's just like from the anime, too. <laughs> oh, cute. He's like... <laughs> It's like we're famous here, you jerks. Why are you so happy? And then, but the animates everyone is like, don't get so cocky. You're the one that, like, fell for it. Oh, yeah, then this is when all the other pirates... Oh, Caribou. Creepy-ass mofo, Caribou. And then we get Albion, which, in the anime, he looks pretty cool. Caribou and then his brother, Coribou. Or whatever, yeah. Oh, his brother's an idiot, though. <laughs> and are you sure uh, Fineverworld didn't find this guy creepy in the manga? Because when I first read this, he kind of did kind of creep me out. Sort of. But that's his opinion, you know, to each and all. But when he made the video, I'm like, yeah, in the anime. But he's still kind of creepy, in my opinion. He's so creepy here, both this and the anime version. Yeah, so this pretty much goes to the part where they're all meeting up with the fake straw hat, Luffy, whatever... Oh, this is when Brook sings New World. I remember this. But of course, they don't do that here because that's only in the anime only. Which I found really... That's a big plus for what the anime did with the manga. So I gotta say the anime, big one for that one. Especially that song. For the new world. For the new world. I love that song so much. I have it on my iPod. Oh yeah, this, oh, yeah, this part was funny. With uh, Frankie. <laughs> like, hold my nose for three seconds. That was funny as hell. Okay, so then we go to this part right here where technically. It's like weird I'm getting all these spoilers away, but it don't even matter. I'm just like showing, like. Eh. It's pretty much where like Rayleigh and then finally tells him that Luffy, Zoro, and them are there, but they haven't shown up on the ship yet. Oh, I love this part too. Oh yeah, that's Brooke. Oh yeah, that's when he escaped. <laughs> too bad I don't show that part too much. Oh wait. Maybe you forgot to tell me that you need water. Oh, sorry, I Maybe forgot. Maybe it's not important. You have to try to, you know, remember, baby. I told you that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Why the man is freezing? You forgot to tell me. Oh, um, hold on a sec. So busy on the phone. We really talking to you. Oh, sorry. Well, he's been. I said, you tell Michael, forget it, you'll never get water. You put Michael, something important that you gotta tell him. Oh, sh sorry. Where do I see plastic? Oh, that That's from the 
box. That's from the box. Oh, okay. Oh. Poor guy. He's waiting. We're going to go biking again. I think I have to take a shower tonight. Yeah, I know. I am. Okay guys, um, I'm going to have to make a part two, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, because unfortunately, alright, apparently I'm going to have to make a part two of this video, so, yeah, this will have to be a second part, so stay tuned for the second part of this, sorry, I'm being interrupted, I don't want you to guys stare at anything, so, part two coming right up after this, so stay tuned people, Straw Hat Ninja 89 over and out. Peace.